The coronavirus outbreak that began late last year in China has now spread to 98 countries and affected tens of thousands of people across the globe. While the vast majority of cases are still in China, the coronavirus is gaining a foothold in other countries, raising fears the world is on the brink of a pandemic. But coronavirus is not the first disease outbreak that has spread to large-scale deaths. Here are some of the historical pandemics that led to millions of deaths across the globe and almost wiped out mankind. But before we jump into our time machine, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be one of the first to watch our videos. The earliest recorded pandemic happened during the Peloponnesian War after the disease passed through Libya, Ethiopia, and Egypt. It crossed the Athenian walls as the Spartans laid siege. As much as two-thirds of the population died. The Antonine Plague, also known as the Plague of Galen, hit the Roman Empire, killing five million people. It was suspected to have been either smallpox or measles brought back by troops returning to Rome from the Far East. As a result, Rome's army was unable to hold back tribes in the north and by some accounts never fully recovered from the blow dealt by the plague. First appearing in Egypt, the Justinian plague spread throughout Palestine and the Byzantine Empire and then throughout the Mediterranean. The plague decimated the Emperor Justinian's tax base, undermining his ability to battle the Vandals and the Goths, and effectively ended the chance of uniting the Western and Eastern Roman Empires. The plague of Justinian killed 25 million people worldwide. In a time when the global population was an estimated 450 million, at least 75 million are believed to have perished throughout the Black Death pandemic, with some estimates as high as 200 million. As much as half of Europe may have died in a span of only four years. Thought to have originated in Asia, the plague mostly jumped continents via the fleas living on rats that so frequently lived aboard merchant ships. Like the first and second pandemics, the third cholera pandemic originated in India, spreading from the Ganges River Delta before tearing through Asia, Europe, North America, and Africa, and ending the lives of over a million people. Starting in China and moving to India and Hong Kong, the bubonic plague claimed 15 million victims. Initially spread by fleas during a mining boom in Yunnan, the plague is considered a factor in the Parthe Rebellion and the Taiping Rebellion. India faced the most substantial casualties and the epidemic was used as an excuse for repressive policies that sparked some revolt against the British. The first significant flu pandemic started in Siberia and Kazakhstan, traveled to Moscow and made its way to Finland and then Poland, where it moved into the rest of Europe. By the following year, it had crossed the ocean to North America and Africa. The sixth cholera outbreak began in India, subsequently spreading into the Middle East, North Africa, Eastern Europe, and Russia. The outbreak killed 800,000 people. The Spanish flu was an influenza pandemic that spread around the world between 1918 and 1919 infecting over a third of the world's population and ending the lives of 20 to 50 million people. It was caused by an H1N1 virus with an avian origin. Though it's unclear exactly where the virus originated, unlike most outbreaks, the majority of victims from the 1918 pandemic were young and healthy.
The Asian flu was an influenza outbreak that spread in the late 1950s and later died out after a vaccine was introduced. At its height, the virus killed 2 million people. The first outbreak that summer in 1968 was reported in Hong Kong. By September, the flu reached India, Philippines, Australia, and Europe. By fall, it was brought into California. By January, it was in South America, Japan, and Africa. While the 1968 pandemic had a comparatively low mortality rate, it still resulted in the deaths of more than a million people, including 500,000 residents of Hong Kong, approximately 15% of its population at the time. First identified in Democratic Republic of the Congo in 1976, HIV-AIDS has truly proven itself as a global pandemic, killing more than 36 million people since 1981. Currently, there are between 31 and 35 million people living with HIV. The mass majority of those are in Sub-Saharan Africa, where 5% of the population is infected, roughly 21 million people. This is a pandemic we're still battling. When compared with the scale of other diseases in history, the coronavirus has not yet reached pandemic levels, although our ultra-connected world could propagate a spread of disease like never before. Droplets from coughing and sneezing and close human contact likely transmit the SARS virus. A person with the coronavirus can spread the infection by leaving respiratory droplets on objects such as door handles, doorbells, and telephones. Good personal hygiene practices can help restrict the spread of the 2019 NCOV. History has a tendency to repeat itself, so learn from history. Don't panic, but prepare for a coronavirus pandemic. Feel free to ask your scientific questions in the comments below. We'll answer them in the next videos. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to Googleplex.